When I was in high school, our Benedictine headmaster said one time he would go into his barber shop and the barber would greet him every time. He'd say, well, Father, how's the soul saving business, you know? And uh, that always kind of struck me, you know, that we maybe not look at it that way too often these days, but uh, there's a lot of souls out there to be saved. We are a mission parish of the Archdiocese of Lome. Lome is the capital of Togo. We're the second last parish heading north from the coast. It's called Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish. We have about 36 villages in this parish. Before my arrival, Achanbe had a mass maybe three or four times a year. Now we have one every Sunday and then one other village will have a mass as well. Since I've been here, there have been over I believe it's 1,200 baptisms that I've done, about 100 a year, say. The field is ripe for the harvest, as our, our Lord said. We're in a very poverty-stricken rural area, a vast area. It became clear it wasn't going to be enough just to preach the gospel and offer the sacraments. That's the most important thing. That's it essential, but to reinforce the message of the gospel, we undertake works of development as well. Combining the development projects with the evangelization, that seems to be the key. So we began by building a medical clinic here. Then as time went on, we were able to do wells in a number of villages. We have built uh, schools kind of located strategically throughout the parish territory. In all those schools, we now have over a thousand children attending them. In addition to that, we have a couple of uh, agricultural projects. We have a palm oil factory, so people will be able to sell us their nuts, and we got the machinery to transform that, extract the oil out of it. It's a profit-sharing thing where we also provide uh, some day labor for a number of the villagers. Also a cassava flour uh, project. The people do the work, and then we buy the cassava from them. They can make a profit for that, and then we uh, we sell it to a buyer down in, in Lome. Uh, so those are the two main agricultural uh, projects that we've undertaken. The people appreciate it very much, uh, everything that we're trying to, to do for them. They're very open to the gospel message. Maybe it's partly because there's kind of an instinctive acceptance of God. You'd be hard pressed to find a, an atheist in the village here. And when that's specified that uh, not only is there a God, but there's a God who loves them and loves them enough to have sent his only son to save them from their sins, to give them eternal life, there's a lot that can be done with a simple proclamation of the gospel message, I think. And if I can help out with that in some small way, well, then that's what I'm, I'm happy to do.